Welcome to e Know How. In this video, we will look at uh, the differences between rising and falling edge trigger flip flops and how they are constructed. So first, let's start with the the symbols for the two flip flops. So for the rising edge flip flop, so you have the D in this input, and you have Q out is an output, and clock is the input and the symbol looks like this and for the falling edge triggered flip-flop you will have D in and Q out the same inputs and outputs but at the clock you will still have clock coming in but there is a bubble at the input the symbol usually shows like this and you have a clock coming in so this is the falling edge this is the rising edge triggered flip-flop and this is the falling edge triggered flip-flop so now for the input stimulus how they respond let's look at that one so let me draw a clock signal something like this and then let me draw a D input something like this so this is clock and this is D in now let's look at the output for a rising edge triggered flip-flop so a rising edge triggered flip-flop looks at the rising edges of the clock so let's assume that data the Q out was high initially so it looks at this rising edge sees that D in is low so it goes low and at this rising edge it sees D in is high so it goes high and then at the next rising edge it sees D in is still high so it remains high so this is the rising edge D out this is the output of the rising edge trigger flip flop D out so now let's look at the falling edge trigger flip flop so it will look at the falling edges here so now assume that the the D out started at high again so at the falling edge it goes low of the clock and then the next falling edge it sees that D in is still low so it remains low so this is the output of the falling edge triggered that's the Q out so I should say Q out here too it's a mistake so so now how do these flip-flops differ in construction so we know we have seen that the flip-flop is constructed using two latches so we had the two latches so let me draw this the first latch it's connected to the second latch in series and now we saw that for the rising edge triggered flip-flop so this latch is clear this switch is closed when clock is high clock is high and these are closed when clock is low clock is low so this is for the rising edge triggered flip-flop so now for the falling edge to make it a falling edge triggered flip-flop what we just have to do is we said that these are switches S1 S2 S1 prime and S2 prime and for the rising edge S1 and S2 prime are closed when clock is low and S2 and S1 prime are closed 
when clock is high and this is for the rising edge triggered flip-flop now to make it a falling edge triggered flip-flop what we just have to do is we just have to invert the function of the switches so we need to make sure that S1 and S2 prime are closed when clock is low or when clock is high this time so when clock is high you should close S S2 prime and S1 and when clock is low we close S2 prime S2 and S1 prime so what we did was we made this clock here I'll write in really green here clock and clock bar to control these switches and this will be controlled by clock the switch and then this will be controlled by clock bar so once we do this we can change it to a falling edge triggered flip-flop